Hey everyone, welcome again. In this Python tutorial, we are going to learn about class variables and instance variables in Python. These concepts are very important to understand basically the difference between the class variables and instance variable and the scenarios where you might be using class variables instead of instance variables. So let's understand that in detail. So I'll quickly create a Python file and name it as class variable versus instance variable. Okay, so now I'll take a scenario basically, say for example, you go to a bank and you apply for a loan, right? So there are certain rate of interest that you are basically given, right? So say for example, hypothetically, a particular bank has a fixed rate of interest that it gives to all of the employees, right? So how they will be calculating the rate of interest is basically a common thing across. It doesn't matter who is taking the loan. The rate of interest will remain same. And this is just a hypothetical example. Usually it doesn't happen. But I'm taking, say, for example, there is a bank which charges rate of interest, which is same for or, uh, all the people that take loan from that particular bank. OK, so let me quickly create a class. OK. And I'll name the class as, say, for example, rate of interest. OK, now within this particular class, we'll define the init method, right? And say, for example, this init method, we will be passing the parameters of the customer. So, for example, customer name and the loan amount that the person is going to take. OK, so we will set these instance variable okay so this we have been doing already so we'll say self dot name and self dot loan and we'll set these variables okay sorry i missed the colon here okay so now if you see these variables here the name and loan right so these are parameters that we are passing and then we are assigning these variables right to the self so basically to the particular object or the instance of object. Now these variables name and loan are the instance variable. OK, so they are they are tied to a particular instance that will get created. Say, for example, I am taking the loan and my name is Manish. So Manish is taking loan of five lakh rupees. Then the name and loan the amount that Manish will be taking. So these instance variable will be tied to the object that will be created for that particular person. OK, so these are the instance variable and I'll demo it all. So do not worry about that. I'll make it very, very clear about the instance and class variable. OK, now let's create another method. Say, for example, calculate interest. So we want to calculate the interest and when we are calculating the interest, we'll simply say we'll have a print statement and I'll say total interest. All right. And the total interest, say, for example, the bank will charge 6%. OK, so uh, let me define uh, the variable interest as well. OK, so I'll say interest here as well. And so so at the moment, this interest is the instance variable because it is within the init method of this particular class. OK, so now, say for example, I want to calculate the interest for a particular person. So I will simply say loan and then multiplied by the interest amount. OK, so I need to refer it as self. So and then instance variable interest. Right. What's going on here is basically these are the instance variables. So you see um, name, loan and interest. These are the instance variable. And then in the method calculate interest, I am multiplying the loan amount with the interest for the particular instance that will get created. OK, now to create an instance or the object, what we need to do is we basically we are out of the class now. So if you see the indentation, it's on the first basically the the very beginning so that means i'm out of this particular class declaration now okay so now if i have to create the instance or object what i'll do is i'll simply say say for example person one is taking 
the loan so i'll simply say p1 uh, the the variable the instance variable that will hold that particular object or instance and then i will say rate of interest the class name and i will pass the person's name say for example name the loan amount that the person is taking say for example i'm taking five lakhs of loan and the interest that will be charged so say for example six percent all right now i will call this particular method calculate interest okay so now if i run this you will see the total interest has been calculated based on the rate of six percent for this particular amount now say for example another person is taking the loan okay so another person and other person's name is joe and joe is taking loan of four lakhs okay and if we run this you will see the interest has been calculated separately for myself and joe all right now if we are going to follow this particular practice now we have taken the example that basically the loan interest for this particular bank is same for all the person who is taking the loan so instead of this instance variable that we are passing here right so we are assigning instance variable instant interest within this particular init function we can define a class variable which will be applicable to all the instances that you create okay so how we define the class variable is within the class i can say that i can say interest and assign the value directly there okay so i can say the interest is 0.06 percent and the class this is the class variable so anything defined just below the class and uh, outside of the method will be applicable or this particular variable is accessible for all the objects that will be created using this particular class right so this this is the class variable and these are the instance variables okay so now we do not need this interest here anymore because now we can refer to this particular interest which is the class variable and define at the class level now if i run this same program here it will okay so the problem is that i've defined two parameters here basically right so name and loan and i'm passing three so i need to remove this interest rate okay and now i do not have to pass this interest or each and every person that is taking the loan from the bank that interest rate will be taken from the interest or the class variable that is defined at the class level all right now here if you see this self is there right so what exactly this self is so now say for example this self here is referring to a particular object so basically if manish is taking a loan so manish object will get created and then interest will be calculated for manish okay now say for example i want to give loan at a higher interest rate to a particular person or lower interest rate to a particular person okay so what i can do is for the particular instance i can simply here i can say interest I can say p1 dot interest and for this particular person I want to charge higher rate of interest okay so I want to charge at 8% so I can change the interest rate for this particular instance if you see p1 is the reference for the instance for this particular customer right who's who has the name Manish now if I run this you will see the interest has been charged at the point or basically 8% for this particular customer right so this is what is happening when we say self dot interest it will be specific to that particular customer only now joe is still getting charged at 6% okay so i can on the fly for that particular instance go ahead and change the interest rate that particular customer will get the interest at a different rate okay 
now when we talk about Joe I can reduce the interest rate so for example Joe will get interest rate at lower rate so we can simply say 4% or 4% 4 for Joe okay so if I run this you will see the interest rate for Joe has been reduced okay so this is what is happening when we are using self in this particular case now if we do not specify self here okay now say for example we are referring to the class variable okay so this particular uh, so we are simply saying that rate of interest dot interest in this particular case so what happens here is it doesn't matter what changes you have done for that particular instance because this particular interest is being referred from the class variable this is not going to affect any of the calculations so let's run this and at this particular time you will see that the result is 30 and 24,000 which is basically 6% interest on these two amounts so this hasn't taken into effect now if we are referring to the class variable here so how we can change it we have to simply refer or we have to go access this particular interest we'll say at the class level dot interest and then change it to 0.8 and then run it okay so you'll see for the first case it has changed to 40,000 and the second one to 32,000 right because we have changed the interest rate at the class level at this particular line right so that is what is happening basically when we talk about the class variable or the instance variable so class variable will be accessible or uh, the class variable are accessible to all the instances if you are defining the instance variable then you have to basically specifically define the instance variable in the init method and associate or basically use those or assign those instance variable within the init method uh, the class variables will be accessible to all the objects that you create all right and we have also understood about the relevance of the self here so self refers to the particular instance so to rephrase a class variable is not tied to a particular object it is accessible to all and an instance variable is basically a variable that is tied to a particular object that you create within that particular class right so here these two are objects p1 and p2 that we have created the instances so name and loan are the variables which are instance variable which are specific to these two objects and interest which is outside of these method definitions that that all the methods that we have defined and within the class boundary are the class variables okay so that's all for this tutorial i hope it was helpful and clear thank you very much for watching